This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, and it would be fabulous if you subscribed. It's easy. Click the subscribe button, and at the same time, click the like button too. Protesters yesterday afternoon invaded a pre-press meeting due to be held by Puatai and PPRP party leaders, instead spraying them with talcum powder as they prepared for their media appearance. The dust thrusters were angry at the meeting, which followed announcements that Puatai is looking to create a coalition government without the election-winning Move Forward party and with minority parties closely aligned to and headed up by members of the previous government, such as General Prawit. This despite their manifesto at the time of the election, which clarified that they would never work with anyone from the previous government or those involved in the army coup. All very confusing for the Thai people, for sure, and a tough one to overview. Leaders from both parties then failed to appear to the waiting press, who were later told that the meeting wasn't to invite the opposition to join their ranks, but rather to garner their votes in Parliament for the new prime ministerial position. The Poor Thai Party leadership has also told the press that unless they separate from Kuhn Peter's Move Forward Party, they too will be unlikely to garner the vote count needed and the political impasse in the House on who will be the next Prime Minister would continue. That then does appear to be the final nail in the coffin for not only Kuhn Peter, but all of his party, which together won the general election. This Wednesday is expected to see the third parliamentary meeting of MPs and senators for a vote, but without any Move Forward Party members on the ballot list. In essence, the party has perhaps the pull needed to win the prime ministerial position, but to do so will need pretty much every minority party's support, and of course those of the Senate. Other names are being discussed in mainstream Thai media for the same position, and they include Kunanutin himself and former General and Supreme Court Judge Prawit. It could all be resolved by midweek. We simply have to wait and see. Much of Thailand, including our own region, has seen flooding over the weekend and this morning. Here in Pattaya, several heavy storms saw short-time flooding and areas with roadworks became delay points for traffic. In the capital, they have fared much worse, with heavy flooding in places which didn't drain away quickly. And in other parts of Thailand, including the island of Phuket, Flooding, mudslides and damage was reported in many areas. Heavy rainfall is forecast for much of our region and indeed the country today. And the warning is to small boats to remain again on the shoreline as high waves continue to blight the Gulf. When an Arabian tourist forgot his valuables at Chiang Mai airport and the plane he was on taxied out onto the runway for takeoff, the normal procedure would be for the crew to contact ground crews and arrange for the items to be located and forwarded on. Not so for this chap, who demanded that the plane stop and let him off. Amazingly, he got his way, as the pilot is under instruction at all times to avoid any confrontation between passengers and crew, and in the event of such, to deposit them at the nearest airport which in this case was the one they were about to leave. Needless to say, passenger A was a less than welcome arrival, as too were all his family and friends who were turfed off at the same time. No word as to which airline offered them a later flight. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, police detained a 57-year-old PE teacher and football referee who had stabbed himself multiple times before threatening officers and medics, only disarmed when he fell unconscious from his wounds, As medics treated him, so others discovered his newly deceased 51-year-old lady friend, a former Jomtien guesthouse operator. Police believed that she had been his lover, something that her husband, also at the scene, could not confirm, as he was reportedly in a state of shock. The Outlaws biker group has been targeted over the past four days by police investigating the dismemberment of a 62-year-old German discovered in a domestic freezer following a citywide operation involving local and national police. In addition to the four currently held without bail, raids on eight addresses saw documents and computers seized, and three more foreigners taken into custody, including the group leader, an Australian, along with an American and a Swiss. Amid police claims that the group were heavily into drug and human trafficking, it's expected that more will be arrested in the coming days. Other biker groups have reportedly been astounded at the recent events, as this region has for decades hosted numerous groups of various nationalities, all integrating without any issue and in many cases supporting community events and causes. Pattaya's annual marathon was a huge success both days over the weekend, 
Despite the damp weather, some 15,000 runners competed in the 30th annual event, drawing pro runners from around the globe. Said to have been the biggest turnout to date, it was won by an Ethiopian with top places in most of the events going to his fellow countrymen and those from Kenya. It was a Thai, though, who came second in the men's half marathon despite the huge competition. And with the Met Office telling us that it's going to feel cool this morning, highs of 29 throughout the day, lows of 25, the real feel of 34, and rain throughout the day, which may develop into heavy storms by dusk. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel. Fabulous Patia Media Group by using the link below.